Oh, Jesus Christ. How the fuck did it take me so damn long to figure this out, man? Like, how did it take me so long to notice this? I just don't understand. I should have been all over this. Probably, the reason is probably that um, I try not to pay attention to the names of episodes. Sometimes there can be spoilers. You know, The Return of Zod. Gee, I wonder what that Superman Lois episode's about, right? So sometimes it can be fucking, you know, spoilers. But home economics, debate 109, environmental science, politics of human sexuality, comparative religion, investigative journalism. These are all names of classes, man. How did I not fucking understand this naming scheme? I'm an idiot. And I'm sure it's going to get hard after a while. Like these are, you know, they have everything, every class name to choose from to start with. Because the name also has, to have, has something to do with the episode, right? So there's that. It's going to get harder and harder. It kind of reminds me of uh, um, Piers Anthony, horrible fucking writer. He had a, a magical uh, system where th this wizard had these powers. And all he had to do was make up a rhyme. And he could use a rhyme. He had basically say two, two lines of dialogue, right? And had to rhyme. The, the end of both lines had to rhyme with each other. And then whatever he says in those two lines can happen. Yeah, you know, so um, it'd be like, I'm hungry, damn, I really want a ham. You know what I mean? And then, boom, a fucking ham would disappear out of nowhere. And so uh, that, that was his power. The problem was he could only use each rhyme once. So if I said I'm hungry, damn, I really could use a ham a second time, it wouldn't work. I don't even, I can't remember now. It's been years since I've read anything from that motherfucker. But... I think even if you like change the words inside the sentence, but kept the last two words the same to rhyme each other, I don't think it works. I think you can only rhyme two words together once, and that's the only time. But you can rhyme something else with ham, like uh, I have to go on the lamb, which means I need to eat ham, and then you would get another ham, right? But you couldn't ever rhyme the same two words twice. So sooner or later, if you use your magic enough, you're going to run out of rhymes, and then you're fucked. The rest of your life, you have no more magic. Now, of course, I would start with like, hey, what about other languages? Boom. Learn another language and you got all the fucking magic in, right? But the point I'm making here is if you can only use each uh, classroom title once, you don't want to waste it on something that's only tangentially related to what to the story idea you've come up with. And then in season two, you come up with a really good story idea with a perfectly matched, like, you know, sex education, for instance. Now, you could say sex education 102 or 201 or something. I guess you could get away with that. But I think you do have to kind of like have a plan here. You know, like, you, you don't want to have it just tangentially relate. Okay, well, we got our title. And, you know, because, like, the last episode, for instance, Physical Education. That felt almost like the B plot. The A plot was a bed with, you know, them trying to change him and shit and him mimicking. I'm not sure which one was which. They had about equal screen time. But they could have easily found out some other thing. Like, you know, uh, Mimicking 101 or some shit, you know. And that could have been a title. And they could save physical education for something that's even more like the entire episode. Everybody has to do some, some, something physical, right? You see, when, when you start, like, when you when you create a naming scheme, you can sometimes paint yourself in a corner. My point is, I like naming schemes. I like them. Now that I've noticed this, of course, I'm going to be obsessed with it. I just can't believe it took me this long to figure it out. Like, I'm a fucking idiot. Everybody else probably figured it out four episodes in. Like, wait a minute. It took me a really long time. But anyway. Enough of all that shit. You're not here to listen to me talk about naming schemes. You're here for me to laugh at these fucking idiots. So let's do it. Hey. Oh, shit. Man. Would they quit with the fucking mascots? Oh, look. The human being has a little human with it. How blood curdlingly adorable. Yo, it's blood curdling, all right. Society programs us to dispose of the elderly because they don't work. Man, wait till you meet her. She's going to be crazy as fuck. Mark my words. I believe Troy when he says shit. Never I can't wait for him to eat these you? words. Eat these Sorry, words. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be doing this when she eats those words. Just remember that. Guys, guys, guys sit. Excellent. Surely, Surely I, don't I don't need to cry. cry. I'm fine. Jeff. Yeah, it was. She was just a slam piece. It's okay. She heard he got naked in front of 500 people. That's why she dumped his ass. I can start making out with every girl on campus right, right now, mm -hmm. and all anyone will feel for me is sorry. Ew, what? Not anymore. <laughs> I already love this episode. Well, well you're, you're too gorgeous, gorgeous to be a teacher. And work this shit. To be a work this shit. Looking for my family. Oh, oh I'm sure, sure that at least I could fill in for a creepy uncle. <laughs> work this shit. Work there this shit. Is. Look at you all grown up. <laughs> uh, Jeff, this is a no. Remember? Small world. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Yes. Yeah, I kind of with this. I would, would not want to date that son of bitch's daughter. There's no fucking way. There's like a whole host of people's daughters that I would not date. I would not date a president's daughter because that secret service would be up your ass with a flashlight. Fuck that. I'm not dating a uh, mobster's daughter. Um, you, I wouldn't date a policeman's daughter for obvious reasons. Hmm. I wouldn't date a Russian's daughter because I'm not trying to get... <clears throat> Yeah. Not trying to get that to happen. Uh, let me see. There's a whole list of people's daughters I wouldn't date. Trust me. 32 steps over. And obviously, Amber's my favorite. Wait. Yeah, oh, just a step kid. Massive and a real kid. Okay. Damn. She's back on the menu. I was just thinking, man, she's descended from him. Like, you don't want nothing, nothing to do with that shit, man. We got here. Then there ain't gonna be no learning wow, happening. Right? I can't believe Why are you perfect? Isn't a virgin. But judging from the Bluetooth headset, his son is Chuck oh, Shang! Really? Kick his ass. It's none of your business, but I ate my twin in utero. Um. Hey, Phantom sure. Menace. Anyway. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ. Looks like Pierce broke up. I want, hey, I want someone, at least six of these motherfuckers to be waiting by his car afterwards. Put a fucking lock in a pillowcase. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> S yeah, that's the ticket. That's right. Specify your relationship repeatedly with this son of a bitch. Uh, the answer is no, motherfucker. I'm striking out. Yeah, she's stuck. If you come to the barbecue, <laughs> uh, I know you never think of touching her. her. Uh, you, you can, can say, I'll do it for money, motherfucker. You want me to wingman you with your ex daughter? I'm sorry. Yeah, I got a thing. Yeah, exactly. Fuck off. You have a thing? <laughs> Why are you up in my shit? She was literally hovering back there. How much effort do I make? For you? A lot, man. Um, I'd break a light. <laughs> <laughs> I need a favor. Can I pierce with a stepdaughter? <laughs> oh, God damn it. Yes, yes. Those doe eyes. eyes. It was also the tears, which you still haven't developed an immunity for, motherfucker. <laughs> She was literally did you, hanging back. I wish I had noticed her back there. She was fucking lingering back there just so she could ambush him. I am Britta, <laughs> and I have offended you, and yeah, I am nice sorry. Try, Is there anything, anything I can get you? Get you? Yeah, you can yes. get away, motherfucker. Go you can get me a switch. switch. <laughs> now? She can make me get it. I just have to know what it is. <laughs> she a don't know what a switch is. Is she can use to whoop you with? <laughs> she don't know what switch is? Cherish, Britta. Okay, here's a question. How many of you had to go outside and pick a switch out from a fucking tree, bring it back inside, so your mom or dad could whip your ass with it? E either you can relate to my lifestyle or not, right? Not, I would never do that to a kid, but it happened to me as growing up is what I'm saying. You pick one that's slightly brittle, so it'll break after about four hits, man. You gotta get one that's a little dried out. Saying he's overprotective. Yeah, no shit. I knew we'd get there sooner or later. <laughs> you are a bad Holy mother. shit, that's why you get your ass kicked. I'm going to go back to the bathroom, oh, stepdad. Jesus. I've never been called stepdad. I don't think man, anyone has. Let's switch it. Fuck him. Yeah, she's going to be waiting for it. Boom. My... <laughs> she knew what it was up. That's right, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck Pierce. Yes! This is suddenly my favorite episode. Too much time? Just enough. No, 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 it's perfect, man. Just keep going. Yeah, Fuck your conscience, Jeff. You're a fucking juice bag. Stay. I can't. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't either. Oh, shit. Stay. <laughs> that's right, motherfucker. Work that shit. Work that shit, girl whose name is Amber. Yeah, that's her name. Amber. Work that shit, Amber. Yeah, look at her, look at these switches. No, man, you gotta get off the tree. You can't get one from the ground. Stop pretending that my mean old man is awesome. I'm not right. pretending. She, she's another douche like Jeff, like I said. I interrupt myself speaking of douches. Jeff is a douche. He needs to tap in that douche. He started as a douche. He's always gonna be a douche. Douche it up a notch, motherfucker. Yeah, that's a great switch, brother. Very hip. It should hurt a lot. Yeah. Yes, I'm Jordan. Are you? Oh, what was the surprise that you lost them? We had to get one fresh from the tree. You could get one from the ground, man. It's too brittle. Hey, you want to get at someone? Go find your crazy kids. Man, that's my such discipline. Time. I would have knocked him out the first time. That's Troy, right? No? Oh, one of her kids. Okay. Yeah, that's a problem. Smiling oh, sideways shit. vagina. No. Happy sideways vagina. No. Wow, he took it worse than I did. He went to the worst place I did. Oh, right, shit. Go, uh, How would you do a windmill? See, like I said, I'm terrible at this shit. 
You can't just draw the object, right? You're not allowed to just draw the wheel. Uh, oh shit! Pierce, you have to add more. Draw more. Oh shit! What are you <laughs> drawing? You're supposed to know, stupid. Relax. God damn! I'll get this. Yeah, you get this. Kick his ass. I think the wolf dropped charges, but we gotta take statements. I love that we get the aftermath. Whip her ass. I'll make do. Drop your pants and get over my head. Oh, fuck this, man. We didn't have to drop our pants. What the fuck are you talking about, man? That's why I always wore thick jeans. You caught me. Mm. Oh shit! Sure. Now he's fucking got to take a break. It kind of went from me to Jesus, Jesus man. Oh, it hurts Our, that he's... Why did he have to see the check? Oh, there, there you are. are. Thanks, Thanks a lot, lot Pollyanna. Yeah. Maybe hang, hang out with Pierce and his stepdaughter. She's grifting. Yeah, you owe him. Did, did you tell him? <laughs> Look at her so it's fucking tall. Such what? a busybody. Yeah, but, but not twice. <laughs> I wanted to do it twice. <laughs> <That's really gross. laughs> I thought he didn't fuck her. So this morning, he's terrible. Some bad. He is gross. Well, you still have to tell Pierce she's taking advantage of him, don't you? You can't do that, man. Well, nobody's getting hurt. Pierce is getting a daughter, Amber's getting an allowance, I'm getting... Man, that's a tough choice, actually. He's a racist, homophobic old goof. He does bad stuff. Look, I like hating on him, but goddamn, man, this is actually a fucking moral dilemma for me. Why are you talking to me about it? Yeah, what's, what's up, motherfucker? Because you're... She's the Jiminy Cricket. Reading from filth. He knew what he was doing by talking to her. Although, didn't she jump him? I think she jumped him. You're good, mom. Oh, good boy. This is sweet. You were right. Nana's a monster. So she took an ass what whipping. Did you, say? you heard the fuck I said. You were a she took an ass whipping for nothing. And you said Troy was right. Get me a switch. Oh shit. When I pick up where we left off after I lost some time to Daddy Warpus? You should never... Yeah. Listen, Pierce, uh... Man, you can't tell him, man. You want me to help cancel it? Oh, hell, she earned it. Oh, shit. You're lucky, Jeff. It's not too late for you. He's a... What he is, he's a cautionary tale. Jeffy. Did they just have a moment? Come here, son. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, now they're swinging. Okay. This is happening. Hugging or chip, chip off the old block. <laughs> Do that or deal with your actual pain. <laughs> That's right. Get him. Are you kidding me? I... Yep. That's right, motherfucker. Kicking the nuts. <laughs> we always used to watch the shows. She wanted to watch it. <laughs> yeah, that would be fucking horrible. Yeah, if you ever want to punish me, make me watch Glee, because holy shit. Is your cell phone in your pocket? pocket? Yeah, yeah, but I, I can't, can't reach it. it. I can only move my right arm. You guys are fucked. The lever that's holding it will be thrust forward, thereby knocking your cell phone out of your pocket, and either they're susceptible or it goes or up your ass. ass. For help. One or the other. Here, Here we, we go. go. I'm not sure which one. Right up the ass. <laughs> Trying. I think I hate you, Thirteen. <laughs> you know, um, Pierce is a piece of shit. But I, I just have, you know, I have a thing where I have empathy for anybody, man, no matter how fucking horrible person. I guess there are exceptions, Hitler, whatever, you know. But, you know, this kind of demonstrated that to me in a way I don't think I've felt for the whole series so far. Because I did feel sorry for him. And I was like, damn, damn, I fell for him. And I, I totally, I would not have fucked his stepdaughter once I found out she was a scam artist. I don't think I would have told Pierce. Because it's just... Man, the fantasy is worth more to him than knowing the truth, I think. And, again, kind of part of him kind of knew what was happening. You know, I think a lot of these people in this situation do. They know people are taking advantage of them, but they allow it to happen. You know, because it's like it's better than being alone. So, yeah, I mean, he's, he's a piece of shit, but he's not a horrible person. Uh, you, how do I phrase this? There are worse people in the world, right? Like, he's not killing people. He's not throwing old ladies down the stairs. He's not fucking up kids or, you know, shit like that. So he's just a an annoying bigot. You know, and those are two different things to be wrong with the person. But, you know, I wouldn't want to see him, like, in, in massive pain, either physical or emotional. So, and, uh, no, well, one of the things that, like, a lot of his problems are self-inflicted. If he's treated people like shit all his life, he's going to be alone at that point in his life. 
So you can't be crying about it. Like, if you've treated people like shit and you've ran everybody out of your life and you're alone because of what you did, you can't really, like, try to play on people's sympathies because you're alone. You know what I'm saying? But if somebody is then just... You, you, you're trying, you're trying to do a good thing. You're trying to just spend time with somebody and they, they're trying to take advantage of you. Even, you know, see, that's a new thing. That's a, that's, a, that's a new choice you're making. So now the shoe's on the other foot. So it is, I guess it's situational is what I'm saying. You know, in this particular scenario, he wasn't like treating her like shit. He just wanted to have an honest, open relationship with her. You know, sincere relationship with her, I guess is what I mean. And she's trying to take advantage of him. So then now the shoe's on the other foot. He wasn't being a bigot to her. He wasn't being an asshole. He was objectified her. So, this is way more than I ever want to talk about Pierce, believe me. <laughs> but yeah, man, this shows, this shows how good the writers are. They can make you feel for anybody at any time. 